What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon X. This is episode two and uh, I'm on route three. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what all this, this means. Uh, let me talk to my friends really quick. I'm going to spend some time getting to know my little chest spin. What are you gonna do, z Dog? Oh yeah, so I remember talking to them last time. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know exactly <laughs> how this game plays out. Mommy told me I should go, I should battle anyone who greets me. All right, I guess we're gonna fight. I guess this game, lots of fighting. Uh, you are challenged by preschooler Oliver. He does not look like a preschooler. He looks like he's at least in kindergarten. <laughs> preschooler Oliver sent out Cater Caterpie. All right. Go F dog. <laughs> I should have never given these guys nicknames. All right, so uh, fight. That sounds like a good thing. And I'm gonna use, uh, let's do a scratch. Let's start off with a scratch. Here we go. Yeah, whoa, that took out a lot. He's gonna use tackle on me now. Okay, that hurt my feelings. And then I'm gonna fight and I'm just gonna scratch him again. I have a lot of scratches left in me. There you go, boom, gotcha. The opposing Caterpie fainted. Looks like I won that battle. 16 experience points gained. Preschooler Oliver is, is about to uh, sit in. Oh yeah, as a real, will you switch Pokemon? No, I'm gonna keep battling with F-Dog. All right, let's see. Here we go. What will F-Dog do? F-Dog will fight. Let's try the Ember on him this time. See how this goes. Oh, wiped him out instantly. Nice. That's 31 experience points. I defeated Preschooler Oliver, and I feel horrible about myself. Mommy told me to be polite, especially when I lose. Zach received uh, 64 of those for winning. All right. Well, my mommy didn't tell me anyway, so... No, she did. She did. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I <laughs> okay, I can't just walk past these guys. Pokemon, Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let uh, Pichu do what it wants. All right. Cool. I, if Do I have the autopilot option as well? Just, like, fight for me? Preschooler Ella, come on. Why am I beating up on all these preschoolers? Oh, it's Pichu, I guess. Go F-Dog. God dang it. All right. F-Dog is going to scratch you. Get ready for the scratch. Yeah. He's level five. He's gonna charm me. With love, I love you. F-Dog's attack harshly fell. So f is going to maybe try to finish you off with a member. I don't know if that's going to work. Boom! It worked. Gotcha. Pichu fainted. F-Dog gained 43 experience points, though, and I defeated Preschooler Ella. Pichu, did we lose? Yep. You did. It's not your fault, though. It's mine for beating you. This looks like a Pokeball down there. Let me go get it. Oh, wait. Coming through. Okay, no big deal. I'll just ignore that. Oh, of course, I can't I can't walk through shrubbery. That would make too much sense. <laughs> so let's, uh, can I like, I don't know, this menu on the bottom, like I show it, but like most of the time, uh, it's just like a list of, of <laughs> it makes me feel bad. It's like a list of friends that I don't have. There we go. How about super, I have no idea what these things are. All right, whatever. What's up? Hey, my Pokemon and I are studying. Want to join us? Sure. You guys are studying for real? Or you guys you guys are fighting. A school girl. School. Okay. Let's beat up on all these school girls and school kids and preschoolers and this guy. Go F-Dog. Yeah. What will F-Dog do? He's going to fight. F-Dog doesn't turn down a fight. He's going to scratch. Oh, that only did a little bit of damage. He's gonna growl. Is there like an easy way to figure out what I'm, what he's weak against or something? Like, like, what's this Pokemon thing do? Like an F dog, Pikachu, P. Oh yeah, this guy that named P. Can I get rid of P? Like seriously? All right. This is my bag. Let's see, let's uh. I'm gonna use a potion on F Dog to give him a little more health. I don't want him to be suddenly stunned by like a 13 point critical hit or something. I don't know how this works. But yes, my health was restored and he's gonna growl again. Yeah, just keep growling at me all you want. My attack fell. Oh, I'm gonna fight, obviously, with an ember. 
gonna burn your fur. And burr. Oh, oh, he's almost got him. He's gonna use tackle now. All right. And I can't, I wish I could, oh, critical hit. See what I mean? Fight, I'm just gonna scratch him then. Come on, scritchy, scratchy. Yeah, gotcha. All right, he fainted. All right. And I guess I can't capture other people's Pokemon, so. F-Dog's level 11, that's pretty good. Good job, F-Dog. You learned Howl. Ooh, I get to try out F-Dog's Howl. <laughs> you defeated Schoolgirl Bridget. Just studying isn't enough. I need to practice more with real battles. All right, I, well, I got a lot of a lot of P's for that. And guys, you know, if any of my terminology annoys you or confuses you, just let me know, because I don't mean to be an idiot. Oh, I was trying to pick that up. Hold on. Super Potion. Okay, that's not a Pokeball. Cool. It's going to be helpful. And it's in my medicine pocket. It's down here. Oh, I do not want to run across that. I think I'm going to have to run across that, though. Uh, and here we go. I'll take the shortest way possible. Oh, wait. There's, is there something over here? Nope, there's not. Okay. Cool. What's up? The best way to learn about a move is to have your Pokemon use it. All right. Well, let's try a, let's try a battle here. You were challenged by Schoolboy Brighton. He has three. Does he have three? All right, this is gonna be a super battle. Go F Dog. And I have a new ability. He has three, so let's try the new Howl ability. Just curious how this works. Ow! Oh wait, oh, it makes me stronger. But he's gonna scratch me, I have scratch too. That did a little bit of damage. F Dog's in a fight. That's how I was gonna scratch. Come on, let's do this. Boom! Oh, that almost took him out. He's gonna scratch me as well. Yeah, yeah, you don't really do much damage to me. I guess what I could do is, uh, can I use Howl again? Will that make me, will that stack? I'm gonna be reading through these comments so hard because I have so many questions for you guys and I need, I need you to answer them, so let me know if like the scratch stacks, let me know. I'm gonna be reading your comments to basically learn about some of this game. Uh, let me just scratch him again, there you go. Boom, got you down. He fainted. And disappeared at the same time. All right, who's next? Panzier, will you switch Pokemon? No, keep battling, F-Dog's got this. And let me know if I'm doing something wrong by always using the same Pokemon. Cause I don't, you know, I really don't wanna become, have this game become like unbalanced, so. Oh yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Good thing I howled a couple times. That's 40 points. Panpour, no, keep battling. My guy's gonna scratch up a storm. Man, he's just different color monkey looking dudes. All right, scratch. Boom, dead, or fainted. All right. And I gained 40 points for that somehow. Defeated Schoolboy Brighton. Wow, that move packs a punch, all right. Zach received 96 for winning, okay, cool. Cool. Taking all these schoolboys. Oh man, I gotta go this way. It scares me to run across grass. I went to the Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Okay, I thought you were gonna wanna fight me. But I guess not. Let's go north. Assuming that this is indeed north. Uh, Santaloon City. Lots of things here. Okay, let's find out what I can do. Uh, let's go from right to left. Like how I don't read. The opposite of how I read. Welcome. If, if you'd like, check the items at the back of the shop. The shop specializes in hats and accessories. Should I get a hat? I don't know. I don't look that good. I have a hat right now. What is this? Here's a hat. All right, I don't know how this works. Anyone else here? Hey, what's up with you? You know, the inventory of shops like this one can be completely different from one store to the next. I'm gonna go hang out in here in the dressing room, no? All right, let's look at the hats. Knit cap orange with a purple button accessory. So, what? <laughs> what do these do? Uh, <laughs> okay, let me just, oh, this is like a classic looking hat. Logo cap, red, and uh, a gray button accessory. If I click on this, is it gonna just buy it? Would you like to buy this item? No, what does it do? Take your time. Okay, well that's a question for you guys again. Do these hats do anything? Let me know. <laughs> in, the, in the comments below. 
I, I, I'm so glad that I have a fairly sizable audience, uh, Sandaloon City and Traditional City, uh, to help me out. Because honestly, there's a lot I don't know about this game. Well, I'm in like a hospital. Like a Pokemon hospital. Oh, hey there, Z Dog. <laughs> are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon centers sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter and have her heal your Pokemon. And you can deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. No, uh, know how Pokemon are sent to a PC when you've caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. All right, I'll put P there. Oh yeah, Z Dog. There's a Pokemart in the back of the Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemart too. All right. Well, let's figure out what this is all about. This is my first time in a Pokemon Center, I believe. Let me talk to this person in the back. Pokemon are easier to catch if you make them sleep or paralyze them first. Sounds so brutal. What about you? Good day. You must be Zack. I've got a mystery gift here with your name on it. Here you are. That's right. Uh, before I started this game, before I started recording, there was like a menu option for mystery gift. And I, I did it. And I had to connect to the internet. And boom, I have it. I received Torchic. So that's cool. I got a new mystery gift. We look forward to serving you again. What are you twins doing? I found my Pikachu in Santa Loon Forest. Oh, I want to catch a Pikachu too. So lucky. Pika, Pika, Pika. There's a fitting room in the back there. You can change in a flash. Narrator, on the Pokemon Whisperer, Pokemon with many different problems are brought to Pokemon Breeder Paul, who works to build a good relationship. Today's problem Pokemon is a young Timber. It's causing trouble for its trainer by rebelling at every opportunity. When Paul goes to meet Timber, he finds it in a ruined room. Paul, did you trash everything? <laughs> I get it. I was a bad guy once too. Some folks just go through that phase. As Paul approaches to talk, Timber smacks him in the head with its wooden beam. It's a sudden breakdown in negotiations. How will Paul respond? Tune in next week for the conclusion of Taming Timber. No, I'm not going to keep watching. No. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see what we got going on here. What is up, lady nurse? Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Uh, yeah. I guess I would like to rest my Pokemon. Is this free? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds and then... All right, thank you for waiting. Was like a. All right, cool. That's really cool. Thank you for doing that for me. Uh, yeah, everyone's healed again. Now, do I still have my my powers or summary? Yeah, we have, we have, we have everything. That's perfect. Okay, cool. I I want to get rid of P. I really do. Is there like a d delete button? <laughs> What's restore do? Oh, no, that just heals him. Okay. I guess I'll just put him in a computer. <laughs> Can I do it here? Here we go. Zach booted up the PC. What PC should be accessed? Someone's PC. I don't, I don't care. Deposit Pokemon from someone's PC. And uh, P, sorry, buddy, you're, but you're going in. Have too many fire things. Release. Yes. You're free, P. Bye bye, P. Did not mean to name you that. All right, I'm out of here. That was cool. What's back here? Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Let's see what I can buy. Oh my gosh! An item that boosts the speed stat of a Pokemon during battle. It wears off once the Pokemon is withdrawn. These are expensive. All right, let's go ahead and ignore those for now, because uh, those are expensive. No thanks. Too pricey for my soul or something. Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Bye. What do you have? Do you have potions and stuff? Pokeballs and potions. Uh, I already have ten. I already have three. Let me buy two more so that I have five. Six hundred. How much do I have? Okay, yeah. There we go. No left. Alright, we're good. We're good. That's everything for now. I'm done. I'm done. Alright, and then there's a fitting room in the back to change clothes, but I don't understand exactly what I... Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm wearing these this hat. You guys have got to let me know if my clothes are just purely, uh, you know, customizable for looks, or if there's like a reason for doing it. Let me know that, and I will be I will be much much happier. <laughs> so okay, let's go ahead. Nice. Um, where do I want to go? I guess. 
I guess I'll just leave now. I mean, I, I did everything that I think I could do there. That's cool. I learned about how those... What are those... What are those places called? I don't know. Okay. What's up, dude? Walking through tall grass is great fun. All kinds of Pokemon jump out at you. Yeah, that was terrifying, though. I don't know if it's fun. What's here? Let's go explore this town. Hopefully it gets to a point where I don't feel the need to go into every room, every, every, every building. But maybe I do. I try to cook. Can I look through stuff? Everything appears to be arranged in a very orderly fashion. Okay, what's up, man? When a Pokemon is evolving and you don't want it to, try pressing the B button. It surprises the Pokemon and makes it stop evolving. That's evolution cancellation. Mm, tell me in the comments why I would ever want to do that. <laughs> if you love your Pokemon, even if it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with it. Let's see. You and Finnegan are just getting to know each other. Yes, that's how I think I'd put it. Thank you for tuning in to IC News. James Moves Worth reporting. Today we'll learn about Spiky Shield. First, let's take a look at what kind of move Spiky Shield is. The user protects itself from the opposing Pokemon's attack while lowering the opposing Pokemon's HP on contact. Is there anything I should be careful about when you use it? Good, that's a very good question. Actually, if you use this move again immediately after you successfully use it, the success rate will drop to one third. It seems we can use it in everyday life, doesn't it? <laughs> that's right, for example, you sometimes play goalie and soccer, right? During a game, use this move. You'll have no problem catching and holding onto the ball. That's all for today. See you next week. Until then, goodbye. No, I'm not going to keep watching. I don't want to wait a whole week. <laughs> all right, so this is just some, some random person's house, I suppose. Again, thank you for, for not only being patient with me, but for supporting the series. Every like and favorite totally helps, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, the first episode, you know, I uploaded this episode pretty soon after the first episode, so I, I have no idea how well it's doing, uh, but hopefully it's doing quite well. The gym leader in this city is the fantastic photographer, Viola. I'll have to go find some bug-type Pokemon if I want to have any of my pictures displayed in the gym. There are so many great gym badges to be earned here in the Kalos region. Do you want to hear about them? Sure. Which badge would you like to hear about? Bug badge. If you have a bug badge, then Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you without question. Which badge would you like to hear about? Cliff badge. If you have a cliff badge, then Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you without question. Rumble badge, level 50. Okay, I think I understand. Let's see, what is Iceberg badge? Then all Pokemon will obey you. What about Psychic? Up to level 90. Okay, wow. Alright, I don't know how to get these badges, but that's cool. That's interesting how that works. So... Let's keep exploring this town. This is Santa Santa Loon City or something. What does the map say? Finally made it here. Yep, Santa Loon City, a traditional city. There's a town square. <laughs> it looks nice. This is a preschooler. Pokemon love yummy treats just as much as you or me. Have you peeked into that boutique beside the Pokemon Center? They have lovely hats there, you know. I did. Drinks. Cafe a latte or lots chocolate chod lemonade. All right, let's go in here and see what this is all about. Another house. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm a real grown-up, you see, so I've picked up a lot of great balls. Here, Mr. Trainer, I'm feeling generous, so I'll share them with you. I got a great ball. Sweet. Zach put the great ball in his eye. A great ball is really uh, is, is just a really great Pokeball. Get it? It makes it easy, even easier to catch Pokemon. I still remember my own first big adventure. I went all the way to the next town with my Pokemon. I'd heard that wild Pokemon jump out at people. I can still feel my heart racing like it was yesterday. Yes, they do. At first, I thought it was an annoyance, but I guess it's kind of something you want to happen. So let's... Uh, <laughs> all right. Hi. Talk to me. If you master type matchups, then even strong opponent opponents will be a breeze for you to beat. Cool. It's good to, good to know. Drinks. Okay, yep. There are a lot of drinks on sale. Okay. Is there a house over here? Let's go see what this is all about. Maybe I'll get another item. Three people just hanging out. Pokemon that you get from trades tend to grow easily, and they get uh, quickly get stronger. But you know, if you don't have enough gym badges, they might not listen to your orders. If we trade Pokemon, you and I will become acquaintances. So how about it? Why don't you trade a uh, bundle B for, for my far-fetched? Sure. 
Do I have that? Wait. I have F Dog, Pikachu, and Torch. I don't have a Bunnelby though. I don't have that. Well, that's a shame. If you ever change your mind, I hope you'll come find me. You there! Were you just thinking, boy, there's nothing to buy at shops around here? Then get yourself some gym badges. The more you have, the more uh, different things you can buy. Okay, well there we go. Gym badges look to be something really important. I guess I'll, I will continue focusing on those. And, uh, is that someone new? These new people? Alright, I'm kind of... Just, oh my god, this town is huge. Okay, what's this? Got to read the sign straight on. Welcome to the trainer's school. Brush up on Pokemon basics. Okay, I can do that. No need to not train, I guess. Hope I don't have to read all these books. Wow, okay. Oh, -ho, a new face in town. Yes, indeed, take this with you on your way. Zach obtained X attack, sweet. Zach put the X attacks in the item. Oh, and take this as well. X defenses. Thanks. Yes. They are for Pokemon battles. By knowing which items to use during the right moment in battle, a trainer can save his or her partner in a pinch. Great. Even if you catch a wild Pokemon, your team's Pokemon will still grow. I know it because one of my Pokemon leveled up while, when I was fighting a battle like that. Okay. You've got your Pokemon holding items like uh, you know what's going on, right? Nope, I don't. Tight matchups, huh? So water is good for fire, and fire works well against grass. And grass is strong against water, right? Okay, that makes sense. I'm shuffling between the chairs. Moves have types too, you know. If your Pokemon uses a move that's the same type as the Pokemon, that move's power will go up. Great. The whiteboard explains Pokemon status changes that occur in battle. Uh, what do you want to read about? I don't think I need to read about those. All right. I hope I don't. I'm skipping them for now. Uh, all right. Santa Loon City is pretty freaking cool so far. Lots of stuff to do here. What is this? Oh my god. Uh, Santa Loon City Pokemon Gym leader Viola, the camera woman who never lets a single smile escape her focus. All right. I feel like, what's over here? Is this out of the city? Oh yeah, Route 22. Okay, let's stay in Santa Loon City. Hey stranger, isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me that you don't even own a pair of roller skates? Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me. So how about it, do you want a battle? Yes. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. All right, let's do it, let's battle. Uh, you were challenged by roller skater Rinka. And uh, Zigzagoon. So how do I how do I find out info about this other Pokemon? Like, okay, I don't know. I have no idea. Fight. Scratch. There you go. I'm gonna scratch it on you. Boom! Now that's a decent attack. The opposing Zigzagoon use Tail Whip. I have that too. It's gonna make me weaker, right? Well, you know what? I'm gonna use my ember. It's fire. Boom! That got him. An opposing zigzagoon fainted. Gotcha. 72 experience points, and I get roller skates, and F Dog grew to level 12. That's perfect. Hanging out with F Dog. You defeated roller skater Rinka. You wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. Zach received 224 for winning. Yeah. What are those? What are those called? Those P's. Those. Let me know. Wow, that was amazing. You might be even stronger than a gym leader. All right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates just as I promised. Sweet, I obtained roller skates. In the key items pocket. Listen up. I'll read you instructions for your new pair of roller skates, okay? Our roller skates snap right onto any shoes so that you can glide your way around. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get those wheels going. That's all there is to it, so go on. It's your turn. Try gliding about like me. All right, let's try it. Pretty sweet. Woo, tricks. I feel like I'm too fast. These roller skates are an attachment that can be snapped right onto any shoes so you can have fun uh, and look good. Sweet, let's go to the gym. 
I guess. Inside the gym. Let's see what this is all about. Santa Loon City Gym. Uh, what is up, my friend? What's the hustle, little Crustle? <laughs> Welcome to Santa Loon City Gym. So, future champ, this will be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be. No worries here, you got Pokemon on your side. And really, they're the ones who are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right, right? Jump on that pole there and you'll be on your way where the gym leaders are waiting for you. Whoops, but wait, before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this Pokemon gym uses Bug-type Pokemon, got it? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna find out what, uh, is that bad? Or do I have to do it too? Whoa, is that a spider web? Holy moly. It's like water at, in places. Is this like a map? Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, it's like a freaking maze. Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. I guess I am a challenger. You challenged by Youngster David. Youngster David set out uh, Lydia. Whoa, it's flying. Go on, F-Dog. Are we both fire related? I don't know. He's level 10. What will F-Dog do? F-Dog will fight. F-Dog always fights. Boom. Nice, that did a pretty substantial amount of effect uh, damage. He's using supersonic. Oh no, am I confused? I am. What will F-Dog do? He'll fight anyway. Don't be too confused. F-Dog is confused. Ouch. It hurt, <laughs> okay. Comet Punch. F-Dog avoided the attack, okay, cool. Uh, let's do Ember again then. Take this. Oh, I'm still confused. Great. All right, Comet Punch. Ow. Just wake me up from my confusion. Come on, this is crazy. Okay, that's that's far enough. Hit three times. Am I still confused? How can I tell? Like, do I have a status somewhere around me? Let's use Ember again. Dang it, I'm still confused. All right, sorry. Oh, but I got him. There we go, he's almost dead. Comet Punch again, here we go. Great, yeah, one, two. Is there any way, is there any way for me to stop that? No, hit two times. Okay. Scratch. All right, let's get him. Gotcha. I don't like you, Ledgeba. Goodbye. And I got a lot of experience points, though, and I defeated Youngster David. You get to see all kinds of Pokemon by hanging out in a gym, and I received a lot. I received 240 credits as well. I'm just gonna call them credits until I know what they're actually called. Can I not go past you at all? All right, now I feel like I need to heal my Pokemon because. Uh, that was fairly crazy. Uh, restore with a potion. There you go. There we go. He's a little bit healthier now. Much more comfortable with him being healthy. Now, do these water things do anything? Some water fell. Is that good or bad? I don't understand. Oh, what? What? So this is like a maze. I think this is just showing me where to go, maybe. Yeah, maybe that is just showing me where to go. Okay, that makes sense then. So far, so good. Tee hee hee, such weak prey. You've been caught right up in my spider web. Uh oh. Who is this? Last Char Charlotte. All right, Kakuna is coming out. Whoa, come on F-Dog, you got this. Uh, I'm ready to fight. Let's use Ember on you. Let's see how well it does. Oh, wipe out. Who's next? All right, 108, that's a good experience. Combi, Combi, keep battling. All right, come on Combi. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna have Ember it again. There we go. Come on, get it. Oh, most. It's super effective. He's gonna use Gust on me. I don't like wind. My fur. I'm just gonna scratch you now. There you go. Yeah. 
All right, defeated that. Pretty straightforward. So far, the battles here have been, except for the, the one that I just did before this one, uh, they've all been pretty easy. F-Dog is now level 13. And then uh, that's good. Good, good, good. Stronger. I defeated last Charlotte. Oh, uh, no fair. My web wasn't strong enough to keep you. And I got 216 credits as well. All right. And then uh, I guess I'm supposed to go up here. Hi. Uh-oh. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic. Whether it's it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory, they're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic, this will be just fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anyone or anything ruin the shot. <laughs> she just took a picture of me. Take some selfies versus Viola. Oh my god, are I actually fighting her? You are challenged by Leader Viola. Leader Viola sent out a uh, Surskit. Oh, it's a sp little cute spider. Come on, F Dog, you got this. Let me attack first. Thank you. Ember. Hit him with the Ember. He's using Water Spout. Oh, that means I'm going to use Fire on him. Or is it the opposite? Like, oh, my power is weakened. Here's Ember, though. Oh, uh, that's horrible against water. Okay, so I, I think I get it now. I got to scratch him. Or maybe I need to switch to a, a Pikachu or something. Uh, can I switch? Is that easy? Oh, no. Water's going to hurt me really bad. Super effective. I'm going to use scratch. That's pretty effective, too. I'm just going to use scratch again. Sounds good. Quick attack. Okay, that was very quick. Thank you. Scratch. Oh, man. I got to heal him. F-Dog going to use Scratch again. So Fire is really bad against Water, but Water is pretty good against Fire. I think I get it. All right, here's another Scratch. Oh, he's gone. Yes. A critical hit. He fainted. Nice. Nice. That was lucky of me to get a critical hit. Who's next? Leader Viola sending a Vivillion. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah, let's actually do switch it to uh, Torchic really quick. That dog switch out. And here's Torchic, I guess. Go, Torchic! Hello. Leader Viola sent in Vivillion. Aw, it's cute too. Torchic, though, is gonna fight with Ember. Oh, I like, I got two fire things going on. Ow. Here you go, here's Ember for you. Uh, not very effective. Oh, it's super effective, okay. The effects of Water Spout have faded Torchic's speed boost. Torchic's speed rose. What the heck? Okay, cool. Somehow, Ember is super effective. I don't even realize how. What does Focus Energy do? Is Infestation. Oh, no. That really hurt me. It's not... What? It really hurt me. Okay. What does Focus Energy do? Okay, I'm getting pumped. Oh, but I'm also infested or something. I don't like this at all. I got a speed boost again. I'm super confused at what's happening. Can I switch out Pokemon yet? Oh my god, I might lose this. Alright, Ember. Oh, that was really good. Okay, a critical hit. Oh, yeah, Infestation's bad for me, I get it. Okay, speed boost. Come on, what will I do? Uh, can I... It's in my bag. Can I use a... Uh, use a potion on him. Torchic. All right. Nice. Okay, that's gonna help me out. I'm just gonna use infestation again. Man, it got me again. Not very effective, but it hurt me really bad that first time. All right. Speed boost again. Okay. I don't understand the automatic speed boost, but that's okay. We're gonna fight with Ember. Here you go. Coming right at ya, Pavilion. Boom! Knocked you out of the sky. It's super effective. A critical hit. And the opposing pavilion has fainted. And I gained, whoa, 712 experience? Why did I give it all to Torchic? That's fine. Level 11, there you go. Boom! Torchic is gonna be really sweet. All right, I feel like that should have gone to F-Dog, but it's going to this Torchic, there you go. I feel bad, sorry F-Dog. 
You and your Pokemon have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Zach received a lot of money for winning. 1920 All right. Young trainer, you... No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Finnegan have shown a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. That's what you said already. What is this? What is that? The bug badge. Yes. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yep. Even if you get them from trades. And here, this TM commem commemorates your win against a pro photog like me. I got a TM83 infestation. All right. <laughs> Using a TM like that one lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to 1 1,000th 1, can snap shut. TMs are some of the best gear around. They're point and click easy, and you can use them over and over again. Now, the TM that I just gave you is for a move called Infestation. Use it, and it'll be impossible for your opponent to flee from battle. Now then, can you zoom in a bit and check out that you're, the tent behind me? Take the stairs you'll, uh, you'll find beyond it, and you'll be back to the entrance faster than a flash. All right, thank you. That was great. That was fun. That was great fun. All right, so I beat a gym leader. My first one. In, in my entire history of life. <laughs> that was great. Are you going to congratulate me? Whoa, -ho -ho, would you look at that bug badge? Nice, very nice future champ. I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up uh, to the Pokemon Lab in uh, Lumino City and show it to him, huh? That sounds like a good plan, in fact. Head to the lab. In Lumino City, wherever that could be. I'm on skates. Oh my god, I'm so fast. I, I don't feel like I need to heal, though. Hi. What's up here? I skated up the stairs. Nice. Well, uh, I guess... Let me read the sign really quick. Trainer tips. The first Pokemon to appear in battle will be the one in the upper left corner of the list. Let me see what's over here. I didn't, I didn't go to these stores. or Well, this is not even a store. This is just another cafe, isn't it? With everything we're here sells drinks. I got my drink in my cup. All right. What about you? Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? Would you look at that? You got a bug badge. Looks like I might have a new scoop to beat Viola at, at your young age. You really are something, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa, the gym leader you just faced. Viola is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? I got the experience share. What does that do? Oh, experience share. If you have experience share and you turn it on, all the Pokemon on your team get experience points, even if they don't appear, ever appear in battle. I hope it helps you with your training. I work at the the big publishing house up in Luminos, uh, uh, Lum Luminosity? I don't know. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Feel free to stop by any time if you have the next big scoop to share with me. So if I'm pronouncing that wrong... Uh, let me know. Also, let me know if I should be using this experience share. Remember, uh, remember, guys, I'm totally new to the Pokemon series for the most part, and uh, I'm enjoying playing this so far. Come back next time for more. I'll make my way up to that new city that I need to go to. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for every like and favorite. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching, and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.